at ya I got your girl up on my neck, yeah And she say I'm up next, yeah And she said that I'm the man, yeah Going to the top, yeah, they gon' count me out All this money coming in, yeah, that's my main Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. So today is June, I believe it's the 6th. Wait, someone's here. Okay, hang on. I'm back. Sorry you guys, the doorbell rang. It was, I'm pretty sure it was Xavier's girlfriend. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, you guys. So right now I am just in my bedroom and we are just going to fold and hang clothes together because I have two big old baskets here that I need to get done. This is my last day off. I work for the rest of the week and the rest of the weekend. So you guys know how that goes. If I don't take care of laundry now, um, the laundry will be a ginormous mess. It'll just be piled, piled up because I'm usually the one that takes care of the laundry like for all of us in the house. So anyway, I need to get caught up with it today because, yeah, if I don't get caught up, like I said, I'll just be in a horrible mess. We'll just have clothes piled up and nobody will be able to find anything and blah, 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 blah. You know how that goes. <coughs> Excuse me. This is my shirt, by the way, that I just, that I just uh, coughed into. So don't be like, ew, she just coughed in her kid's clothes. No, 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 that was my shirt. So right now I'm watching this stupid show. It's called Life After Lockup. Okay, if you guys watch this show, please let me know. I find it so ridiculously funny that I like never, this is a cute top, look. Cute, right? It has a really large neck so it hangs off the shoulders. It's just really like cozy and comfortable, but anyway, that's that. Okay, so as I was saying, I watched this show, it's called Life After Lockup, and it's just like so stupid that it's like interesting. Oh my God, wow. Like, I just feel sorry for these people. I, one, I feel sorry for the women that, or guys, whoever, it's usually women though. They're just getting themselves caught up in these crazy uh, relationships. with these men that are totally unavailable to them. They're in prison, but they're sending them money and commissary, and I just feel like they're just totally taking advantage of them. So it's sad, it's really, really sad. But they're like so obsessed that these women continue to do it, you know? So that's what I'm watching right now. I just like to watch these shows. They're just, uh, you guys, if you are new and you don't know a lot about me, I've said it before. I am a absolute reality show about reality shows. Like, I know that all of them are very, very fake. They're not really real. They're totally scripted, but I just find them so funny. Just hilarious, you know? So even though I know that they're pretty much like nonsense, I still get a kick out of it and I still watch them. I think my favorite, oh my hair looks awful. I think my favorite reality shows by far are probably uh, like The Housewives and definitely like Little Women. So any of the Little Women, uh, what are they called? Any of the Little Women like franchises, I like to watch that too. They're just so funny. But anywho, so like I said, I'm just um, finishing up here, just doing some of this laundry. I wanted to pull the camera out earlier, but I was like, ah, I'm not really doing anything other than cleaning my house. And to be honest with you guys, I wanted to do like, it's hard for me to do cleaning vlogs because I really never know how to set up my camera. It's just something that's kind of like, like I just don't know how to set it up and I don't know it just seems like it would take a lot of uh, memory on your phone if you're cleaning for hours you're filming yourself then you erase like most of it because you have to fast forward a lot of it I don't know it just seems like it just seems like silly to me to do or hard for me to do a cleaning video 
I guess if I were to get like an actual like um, camera camera, like a nice, you know what? I have a nice camera that I have never ever used. I'll have to show you guys this camera and tell me what you guys think, if I should start using this for my vlogs or not. But I do, I have a good camera. I've just never used it. I think what scares me about using it is that right now what I do is I, um, what's it called? Right now what I do is I um, edit my videos on iMovie on my phone. So that's how I edit my movies. So I guess what worries me is editing my movies on the computer on iMovie. Because I don't know how to work that. So I don't know. You guys let me know. Is it really hard to edit your movies on iMovie? Or is it not that hard at all? I don't know. Because it is hard for me to do not iMovie, but um, the iMovie on my phone is very, very easy. Could you imagine being a size zero, you guys? I haven't been a size zero since I was 16, 17, 18, around those ages. I would love to be a size zero again, but I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm just like finishing up here. I'm almost done hanging clothes and stuff. Even worse than like hanging clothes, you know what I hate? I hate putting clothes away. Like I hate putting them in the drawers. I hate hanging them in the closet. It's like dumb because why do you hate that? I said this earlier in the week, like Monday or Tuesday. Then I wouldn't have to be bitching and complaining about it now. But that's just the story of my life, you guys. I do things at the last minute toe. These are my shorts. Look how cute these shorts are. God, they're all wrinkled. But they're super cute. They're like cute shorts for work, you know? They're not like all short, but they're short enough. And right now I'm just drinking my smoothie. Mm. So good. So this is just um, frozen strawberries. Ice, frozen strawberries, ice, the ice drinks, you know, the zero calories, like the black raspberry, black raspberry drink, and I think that's it. Mm -hmm. It's super good. And of course, I had to put in a sugar free sweetener. Okay, you guys, I'm just gonna finish up and start putting this stuff away. And um, yeah, I will be right back so I can show you guys my mess over here because it certainly is and half of these are just like my like pajama t-shirts like literally these are like all the t-shirts I wear to like bed sexy right sexy pajama shirts in house just kidding all right guys I'll be back hey you all just kidding I'm being Chrissy isn't that what Chrissy always says hey you all anyway guys I am just in the laundry room per usual and I'm just gonna start putting the children's these are AJ these are my middle son and then my middle son is 12 you guys. 13 he'll be 13 on June the 10th so that's coming up very very soon and then these are also Adrian's clothes um, Adrian is my little guy and AJ will be 10 in he's my youngest son and AJ will be 10 um, in June also. His birthday is June the 18th. So I usually wash these two, my two younger sons clothes together because they share a lot of the same clothes, which is kind of funny. A lot of the basketball shorts, everyone just kind of like shares amongst themselves. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'm just like getting their clothes, putting them in the dryer. A lot of their clothes, you guys, I um, put out to dry. Like their t-shirts and stuff, especially like their Nike shirts. I have noticed, or even their shirts from like um, like H&M and stuff, they uh, shrink really, really badly. And it's super annoying. Like, or they get all faded. I'm like, I paid like $20 for a Nike shirt and then you're gonna fade? Like, I don't understand that. It just bothers me. Like these Tommy Hill figures, like I put these out to dry. This is long sleeve, so obviously, you know, they're not gonna be wearing that anytime soon, but I do put shirts like that out to dry because I don't want them to shrink or get all faded, things of that nature. This is actually my shirt. 
I love these shirts for Mac. They're always super comfortable. We always get t-shirts like if we're at an event or something. So this was one of the t-shirts. It was a Jeremy Scott event, which is really, really cool. Um, I just dry my shirts though, cause you know, it's whatevs. I just wear these like around the house or to bed. I also have this one that I'm gonna wash. Um, do you guys remember that? It was the Viva Glam campaign with Nikki. But this shirt is so big, but I'm gonna see if I can try and shrink it. That way, because on Sundays, we wear Viva Glam shirts, and it's really cool because it doesn't have to be like the newest Viva Glam. We could wear any Viva Glams, and and it's super exciting because we get to wear, um, not only is it a Viva Glam, but we get to wear it with jeans, you guys. We have to wear 100% black all the time, so the idea of getting to wear jeans to work is like super awesome. So we get to wear jeans to work, and anyway. So these are just mainly like their school clothes that I'm washing. So like pants and things like that. So they probably won't be wearing these clothes that much during the summertime. But, you know, you never know. So what I do too is I stretch the shirt out a little bit. Like I stretch it and then I just hang it to dry. I don't have a clothesline. I wish I did, but I don't have a clothesline. So it's funny. I just hang them kind of all over the house which is crazy because I have clothes hanging from every chair, every couch in the house. So laundry days, it looks pretty silly around here, but you do what you got to do. You know, like I said, I just, I just hate for these shirts to get all ruined anyway. So again, I'm just like, um, I'm almost done. I'm just adding these to the dryer. Oh, you guys, does anybody actually like like doing laundry? I always say that like, oh, I hate laundry. I hate laundry. But then I'm like, does anybody like actually like doing it? I seriously doubt anyway, anybody is like, yes, queen, I'm going to do my laundry today. Like super excited. Like, no, dude, nobody is saying that. Not a one. I want to find some more of these like shorts. They are, um, they look like this. They're like running shorts. These ones, I believe I got Athletic Works. I think these came from Walmart a few years ago, but I want some more of these. These are so awesome to wear in the summertime. I love them because if you're hot, they don't like stick to you. They're not like, um, they're not, um, what's it called, uh, a thick like cotton. They're just super comfortable. I just love those shorts. I wish I could find more. I also like these shorts. I love these ones too. These are nice like pajama shorts. Obviously, they're to wear out. Again, they're called Athletic Works. But I love these too. These are really comfortable. I got those in a size small. Um, usually I get my shorts, I size up on shorts because one, if I wear them out in public, I don't want them to be all like up my butt, but two, I like to size up on shorts because, um, I don't know. I don't like them super duper short cause I have really, I don't have good legs. Like I really don't. You guys have horrible legs and I think it's just because of how quick, like I gain a lose weight. I, I don't do that so much anymore. I'm really cautious about that because it's scary. Like, you could really mess up your body. I had no idea. Like, if you're one of those people that is constantly losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, you could really, like, jack up your body, like, your nutrients and things like that. And when I was reading on that, I got, like, kind of, like, shook. I thought, dang, I had no idea that doing that could really mess you up that bad. It just messes with your uh, your thyroid and pretty much any anything and everything. So I want to turn my dryer on, but so I have all these clothes that I need to hang around my house to dry. But I want to do some laundry also. These are mostly Nate's laundry that I want to do. Look how cute these shorts are. These are one of the pairs of shorts that I got on um, when I told you that I got all those good deals so I just got these in a medium and I thought they were really they're really good quality and they also have like a, what is it called like a inner layer so they're not see-through but these were so cute and this is that shirt I'm gonna see if I could try and shrink it because it's so cute 
And again, I love little shorts like this, like just to wear around the house. They're just super comfortable. These are a size medium also. I don't even know where I got these. I feel like I've had them so long that I can't even like place like a time when I got them, you know? All right, you guys. So again, I'm just doing some laundry. Oh, this is another Mac shirt. Let me show you guys this one. I have so many Mac shirts. Well, I'll be there for eight years in August. So it's super exciting. But this was a Mac shirt and it says, can you guys see it? Hold on. Mac Pretty Little Things. This was our shirt that we got for Christmas. We had a um, hashtag Mac holiday. We had a really beautiful, um, we had a really beautiful Christmas set. It was called Pretty Little Things. This is my other one. This is the one that I wear all the time. This is Every Day is World AIDS Day. Um, I wear this one a lot because it was hard for me to find my other Viva Glam shirts. But now that I'm finding so many, I can wear those, which is exciting. So, y'all, you guys, I got these really cute jeans. These, I'm, like, showing you all my dirty laundry. I got these cute jeans from Wild Fable at Target. Oh, my God. They are literally called mom jeans, literally. And it's because they are super duper high-waisted. And they are just adorable. Like, they just look like regular old pants, but on, they're so cute. And, yeah, so these ones were in a size 4. So I got those, and I just love them so much. Yeah, so anyway, I'm over here like showing you guys all my dirty clothes. That's kind of funny. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, so, oh, look at these jeans, you guys. Are these, wait, oh yeah, these are my jeans. Oh yeah, I don't wanna show you jeans, that's like boring. Let's see what else I can show you guys. Oh, so then I got these wild fables. I'm sorry. These are the ones that are called high rise mom jean. Like it says that, yo, it says high rise mom jean. So funny. But these ones are so cute. They're literally like 1990s mom pants. Like it, like look at the butt, you guys. It's like one of those long butts. Ugh. So adorable. And they have rips all through them. They're faded. Yes. But those. these ones, so... I'm supposed to be doing like Nate's laundry and like all my laundry is like caught up in here. It's kind of funny. These are really cute. These I wore one time. They're called paper, paper bag jeans or paper bag pants because the top of it looks like paper bag and then you just like tie it. And then I'm so short, you guys. I'm only like 4'10", 4 4'11". 4 and um, I wear mine like, like up kind of like on the legs. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't wear them like long, I wear them up, but I'm not gonna wash them because they're not dirty. And then this is my fake bum. What, every time I wear like a romper or something, I wear a fake butt, you guys, because my butt is so not that cute. And yeah, this fake butt is so cute. I love it because it has like some padding here on the sides, so it gives you a really cute hourglass like shape. So I really like that. But anywho. That's my fake bum. What else? What else? Oh, these, I got a cute story about these jeans. These shorts I got for 99 cents. You heard right. So it was going to be winter. It was in February. I remember because I was looking for a Valentine's Day get up. And they had these jeans at Love Culture, which is a store in my mall. And they're not jeans or shorts, duh. But they were 99 cents, you guys. Literally 99 cents. I was like, what? So I took them. And at the same time, I got these jeans. As you can see, they're twins. These were $1.97. Look. So it has like almost the same like flower pattern. So these ones were $1.97. And I don't know why. They're not broken. They're not ripped. I mean, obviously, if they're distressed, but it's the regular distressing that that we know is there on purpose. Oh, they look really expensive just because of the... The pattern on it or whatever but hey hey what can you do right I was real those were really good sales those are probably the best sales that like I've ever seen at a store you know yeah. oh probably because I'm showing you guys all my dirty clothes that's probably why this is cute I wear this rump romper last week one day like this look it's really cute it's just a romper and it just has like really big legs. I feel like I wore this with, 
Oh yeah, I did. I wore them with these really high wedges and that was a really cute outfit. Okay, so I feel so funny like showing you guys all my dirty clothes. These clothes but I just have to kind of fold and put up. Oops. Because I'm not going to wash them. Okay, okay guys, sorry about that. So I'm going to start my laundry. This is the laundry detergent we got. It's the great value one. And you guys, I'm pretty picky on laundry detergents because a lot, if you buy too cheap of a laundry detergent, all it is is water and it really does nothing. But this is a good cheap version. It's a cheap version of um, Gain. And I really like it. It works well. But I better go. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.